Hello, everybody. We are so excited today because we are just about to release the second song in the Un Piano Unstrung series. Last week was The Pirates, and that was a lot of fun. This week, it actually turned out better than I thought. It's The, um, the Fire. And it, I play the piano so fast, it actually catches on fire. Now, the hardest part about playing a song while it's on fire is focusing because you're worried that it's going to burn you or whatever. Anyway, it's a tricky performance, but you'll enjoy that video. We're going to post the video at the bottom, I think. What is that? We will. I'll post the link in the comments yeah. after I post this video. Perfect. So in the comments, go check out that link. It's opening, I believe, in about 5 minutes and 30 seconds. You can go watch that. In the meantime, we're going to talk about the song of the week. It's on the Piano Marvel YouTube channel, if okay. you're looking for Piano that. Piano Marvel YouTube channel. And actually, I posted the link yesterday. So if you want to just go to the, the post right before this one when I post it, you can get to there from that link just directly. Okay. Are you guys ready for a song of the week? Now... Just fair warning, the flight of the bumblebee, this. I don't expect everybody to be playing that song this week. We've got a couple of easy arrangements of it that are just where you both play while it's playing in the background. So hopefully it'll be fun. I want to show, for some of you who are just beginners and you want something for you, I've got two things for you this week. Number one, if you come over here and check out the, uh, this Bumblebee Games and you open it, there are 10 levels. So you'll start at level one and check this out. You can do this one. You can hit the prepare mode if you want to practice mm. first. This is one of those where it won't let you go to the next song because it's locked until you get an 80%. But you have to do it in assess mode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to see if I can unlock it. Go. And yay, it says hooray, you just unlocked the next the next song, so you can click next song, and then you can see this song is a little bit longer, but it's still pretty simple. So go through that, and it's building up to the level 10, which is. So just see how many levels you can get into this. Um, we'll see how far you get. Don't give up when it gets hard, because some of those actually, are easier than they look. So just spend some time with it and push through that. Maybe give yourself a week and see how far you can get in, it, in that time. Okay, the second thing I want to show you today is really exciting. This is about lead sheet reading. Um, there's a song that I just arranged for some students. It's a uh, work and a glory. And this one's actually free, so if you don't have a premium membership, you can get it for free. Uh, let me show you what it is. It's this pink one here called A Great Work. If you'll click on that, notice you'll have the vocals and a piano accompaniment. Now, when I say lead sheet, um, this is typically what you see in a lead sheet. I'm going to click on this PDF, and you'll see chords written at the top of each measure here. So when I have a chord change, I'll switch this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe this will be easier to read if I can zoom in. And you can see it switches to the B flat chord, then the F chord, and the C chord. And there are only four songs in this entire, sorry, four chords in this entire song. You can play this whole song just by reading the lead sheet. Sometimes it's called a fake book. So you see the melodies written here and this. Now, I'm going to show you what actually happens when you play a song like this. If you go to the other one, the piano accompaniment, this is like the best of both worlds where it shows you the notes you can play, but it also shows you the chords written above them. And you can see it's just repeated F, C, D minor, B flat, 
F, C, D minor, B flat. F, C, D minor, B flat. It starts to get the same, same thing. There's one change here. It's the same four chords, but little change. But everything else is the same. Now, if you don't want to read the notes, you could just play the chords. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's take a look at this first bar. Because once you learn this, you've got the whole song. Here's how it sounds. Now come down to my hands. All right, so all I did was I played the F chord, then the C chord, D minor chord, and the B flat chord. Now let me write on my keyboard here. The first chord was an F, then we went down to D, and then up to, sorry, <laughs> that is not a D. That is a C. And then you go to the D. And last of all, you can't see this, but that's a B flat. So one, two, three, four. So I'll just play that. Then the C chord, then the D chord, finally the B flat. Now, if I want to do that with my right hand, check out what I do. On the F chord, I'll play with my left hand. My right hand, I just play a triad. I'll write those notes so you can see them. So it's just skipping D, A, sorry. Where's my brain? This is the F, A, and C. So that's my F chord. It's the same as this. I just add every other note in a triad. Now when I go down to the C, the right hand just follows and goes down to the C, and I play every other note, and that's your C chord. So F chord, then the C chord, then the D chord, then B flat. F chord repeats, then the C chord, then the D chord, and then B flat. And what you do is you just sing the melody while you're playing the chords. And if you wanted to mix it up, you could play the F on the beat. F chord, two, three, four, then the C chord, then the D chord, then B flat. What I like to do is add a little bit of variance over here in the right hand where I'll do just play the top two notes and then just rock back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That gives you your four beats. One, two, three, four. Switch to the C chord. One, two, three, four. Go to the D chord. One, two, three, four. And then the B flat chord. One, two, three, four. been prepared for you. Whoops, D chord. You, long before the world was made. And then you just repeat. One more thing that I'll show you. You can just play the song exactly like that if you want. Or you can work on inversions. Now inversions are just keeping this C chord close. So instead of moving my hand all the way down here to get the C, these three notes, let me write those down. We've got C, E, and G. So I'm going to C, E, G. Look, these two notes are already so close. I just move those down and I've got it. And my C note, it's already in my pinky. So the only thing I had to do to get there was just switch these two notes for these two. And I've got my chord. Switching to C chord. Okay, if that's the case, my next one is the D chord. Now that's just up one here. It's easy if you just slide up everything, one note. Let me do those three again. So this F chord. 
go to the C chord, I just replace those two notes. Now remember the D chord, I'm just going to slide up one note on all three of them. Here's a cool chord, the B flat, which is that one, that one, and that one. Notice I've already got the F, and I've already got the D. The only thing I need is the B flat. So from the D to the B flat chord, you only have to change one note. Listen how that sounds from D. Just changing one note. And it sounds a lot smoother. That's why you use inversions of your chords. Let me see. You, there is a work to do. Then you move to the D chord there. Then we move to the B flat chord. Next is the F chord. Then we'll move to the C chord next. Then we'll move up a step to the D minor chord here. Song to there is a work to do that's been prepared for you long before the world was made. You have the strength you need to cross a stormy sea that you will find along the way. And that's the the trick to learning how to play with chords. There are so many songs that have four chords, and if you just learn those four chords, you can really uh, play a ton of songs. And chords at first are tricky, but there's not that many chords. So once you learn your chords in one song, when you do the next song, you'll find that it becomes super, super easy. Now, sight reading is a very different thing. Learning to sight read takes a long time. Um, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't learn your chords at the same time. So, hopefully you find that you've learned a lot about chords and how to use a fake sheet or a lead sheet, fake book sometimes they call it. And also, I hope you can get quite far in the, the Bumblebee games. Go check out the video. What's that? What time is it? Oh, it's 9.06. That video is on right now. If you yeah. want to go to the link, um, I'm going to go check it out right now. Uh, enjoy the video, and we'll see you guys for the next song of the week, and should I give them a hint what's coming? Sure. All right. We've done pirates. Fire. We've done fire. Water's coming next. The river. Good luck. We'll see you guys next week.